So tonight, we continue to follow the condition of a Delaware family poisoned by a pesticide last month while on vacation in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Since that time, Eyewitness News has found out that the same pesticide is being used here in large quantities. And now we've learned others have been exposed. Alexandria Hoff dug deeper into this story and has our exclusive. At 28, Jason Patrick had a growing family and a well-paying job. That's my little guy. He, he doesn't remember me like that. That was 10 years ago. I, I could barely do much of anything. At 38, words are failing him, as is his body. That trip was the last time he would hold his kids. I have uh, severe pain every day that uh, it starts in my l lower back. According to medical expert testimony, Jason's nervous system had been poisoned. It's all due to the, the, the safety issues and misuse of most dangerous chem chemical on the planet. He's talking about methyl bromide, a pesticide blamed for making a Delaware family gravely ill while on vacation in the U.S. Virgin Islands. Although banned, exemptions allow its use to fumigate produce at approved sites, which are largely located in the New Jersey, Delaware, and Pennsylvania ports. Jason was a fumigation technician. April 7, 2005, Jason says he was performing a fumigation here at Holt Pier in Gloucester Township. The way they would typically work is they would throw a tarp over a large stack of produce and then spray the methyl bromide beneath it. But that day, levels under the tarps were testing low. It was Jason's job to wait while others figured out why. He came back and he said it, it was low. And it was low because half of it was out here with, with me. A leak, according to Jason, left him exposed to the methyl bromide for 45 minutes. Symptoms came on slowly. I woke up uh, one morning and like my chest was on fire. And then it went, went into my hands and then by, by through the, um, the burning after that came numbness. In a workers' compensation hearing, the company, Western Fumigation, questioned the legitimacy of the leak. It also required employees to be trained and wear protective gear, which Jason admits he wasn't wearing. But he says employees were pressured to go without the gear. Western is now under new ownership. They chose not to comment for the story. That's me getting the ball running. Score. These days, he plays old videos. I say, look, kids. No king. So that his kids can see the athletic man they never met, suffering a fate that he hopes no other young worker will ever have to meet. Now, looking at Jason's condition, many would wonder, what about eating produce treated with methyl bromide? According to the EPA, since it's a vapor, it doesn't cling to fruits and vegetables, so it is generally deemed safe. And as for the Esmond family, Jessica, I've been told the mother is recovering at home, that father is still in the hospital, but stable, and their two teenage sons remain in critical condition. Quite a story, Alex. All right, thanks so much.